A woman who became a transgender man has now undergone extreme lengths to become what they now identify as an agender alien. They've had several body parts altered in order to do this. So who is this agender alien? Well, I'm going to tell you in just a second, but first, the intro. This is Inform Overload, the news channel that brings you the most interesting viral news stories on the internet. I'm Charlotte Dobre. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications and follow us on Instagram. Okay. I'm going to introduce you to Jareth Nebula, a woman who transitioned into a man when they were 29 years old. Jareth prefers to be referred to as they, so whatever opinions you have about pronouns, if you have them, that's fine, you're entitled to your opinion, but we are going to be polite to the pronouns. When Jareth was a teenager, they were hyperfeminine and they would model regularly. Then when Jareth was 26, they were diagnosed with a rare condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or EDS. The condition is part of a group of disorders that affects connective tissue supporting several organs like bones, blood vessels, and skin. It can result in flexible joints and extremely stretchy skin. But when Jareth was diagnosed, that was when they felt like they didn't really fit in. The good news is, Jareth's condition means that they don't have any wrinkles, which is like, damn, my forehead needs some of that. Too expressive. Also, Jareth can like pop out their joints, which is probably a pretty cool party trick. Isn't that fun? Jareth named themselves after the character played by David Bowie in the 1986 musical Labyrinth. They now work at a barber shop as a receptionist and they still model. After Jareth transitioned into a man, their breasts were removed, but following the transition, Jareth admitted that things just didn't feel right. Jareth is now 33 and they don't feel comfortable as either gender. But when Jareth heard the term agender, the term that applies to someone who doesn't have a gender, it felt like it fit. Agender is different from gender fluid. Being gender fluid means that someone feels like they are a mix of both genders. Agender refers to being gender neutral or to someone who feels like they don't identify with either gender. Not only that, but Jareth just doesn't feel like a human at all. They said, I know I'm stuck in human form and that's how I'm perceived by others, but to me, I'm an alien with no gender. Jareth was also obsessed with aliens as well, as well as what it means to be extraterrestrial, so the idea of being an agender alien fit perfectly as an identity. Jareth now identifies as an agender alien and sports the look to back it up. Jareth removed their nipples, has 78 star tattoos, and their eyebrows are also removed in addition to the breast being removed when they transitioned into a man. So naturally people find it pretty hard to accept Jareth. Jareth said, People treat me like a freak because I'm an alien, but it's a completely valid thing to call yourself. Who is anyone to tell you who you can or can't be? If someone wants to identify as anything, even as an animal, let them. At the end of the day, Jareth is happy with who they are and will continue to be more alien-like every day. So some final thoughts from me, honestly, just be whatever or whoever you want to be. As long as you're not hurting anybody and it makes you happy, that's the most important thing, right? To be happy. Anyways, friends, that's my two cents. I'm going to wrap up this video by responding to some comment features. Zunara what he said, hot damn, by the way, Charlotte, how regularly do you wash your hair? Odd question, but uh, every day or once every two days. Mistress Jen said, I will say, the reason why I personally like IO better than TV news is because it's given with a personality, jokes and all. Basically makes it more fun for me. News on TV feels like it's being given by a robot, no personality, and for me, that's boring. So there you go. I totally agree with you, my dear, but there's a reason why robotic news reporters sound the way they do. It's so that the reporter sounds as unbiased as possible. They're talking heads for a reason, and it's so that they just give the facts and nothing more. San Amazing Way said, I wonder if the potato queen uses makeup because she's beautiful without it. Oh, that's nice. I do use a little bit of makeup, but uh, I have eyelash extensions. So I normally don't really wear anything except lipstick and brow gel. Elisma Jordan said, what kind of keys are furry? Monkeys. Good one. Welcome to the end screen. This means the video is over. If you want to keep watching IO, check out that playlist right over there. And obviously, if you enjoyed your time here, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.